Nope, that's right that's time. Well, it's a couple minutes. It's 701. I have 701. I have 701. I have 701. It's that's a 703. I mean, open the seriously, the guys, can we calibrate our clock? <laughs> it's how much we pay attention to it. It's like, you know, about what I just want. Being 7 o'clock, I'm going to open the planning board meeting for October 2nd, 2019. Um, we have a couple of bills. Hello. Because the meeting, the planning board is not meeting. Out? We'll just do those. We'll, we'll just sign them. Yeah. Um, so we have, first of all, we want to thank Gene Vincent for bringing in all this candy. It keeps us, it keeps us with all this energy to stay up late for the early meetings. Um, They're fun size. And they are fun size. So you could have two or three and have the same amount of calories. So, um, again, fun is for to be on and then we'll town hall. That's right. <laughs> Um, we have open forum. Does anybody have any comments, questions? Perfect. Do we have any bills or anything? Is there any? Um, we do bills and open form? Technically, he has seven minutes. Yeah. <coughs> do you want to talk about? Yeah, let's do another. We have a few little minutes. Do we want to do talk about the um, the the battery backup? I know that 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 new ki that email came in. Yes. Um. Um. Phoenix Infinite. No, not Infinite Solar. Uh, Zero Point Solar is requesting trying to get permits for battery backup at um, Cecil's facilities and probably more. Battery backup or battery storage? Storage? Battery storage. Battery storage okay. for the okay. existing panels on site, you know, not for anything other than what they're producing on site. So the questions come up, um, uh, Kurt Mastic, the zoning official, believes it's an accessory use to the current solar facility. But um, based on our new bylaws, it sounds like it's a special permit process to get battery backup approved for the, any site. I thought that's what we agreed upon last time, uh, when we right. came up last time. Right, so I wasn't here then, and it seems, but it appears to me, reading the language in the new zoning uh, solar bylaws, and that this is meant to be done as a special permit process for yes. the battery storage. So. We just want to guide the applicant on what they need to do as far as getting approved because they are under the assumption they just need to get permits and they're going to be on their way. It's I mean, not special be permit. Exactly. Yeah, special, but I mean building permits. Yeah. So, but I think the intent of the bylaw was to have them come before the board to get the data and yes. store it approved. Yeah. Yes. Uh, they're not grandfathered because of any subdivision plan. No, it's a new it's a new thing. So they they, they may have been a subdivision for the original project, but now what now it's a whole new. Yeah, none concept. of these were applied for like during or before the they were, solar moratorium. They, were, they were all brand new. Yeah, there was nothing on any. And there's a lot of um, there's a lot of specific requirements yep, to yep. look at. You, and we I think sure. we 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 went through all of yep. that the presentation. Yep, remember. Think, so we want to make sure. And so I mean they they've done their homework as far as meeting the guidelines and everything, but it's still, they're going to have to come that's here right. before the public board, yep. get that's the input from the fire department mm -hmm. and everything, and right. um, show if they're meeting the current bylaws. Exactly. So I, I just want to get consensus okay. of the board, because yep. I, I thought that was the intent of the bylaw. No, yes, perfect. Um, while we're in, um, while we have a couple extra minutes, the town hall was, the town meeting was rescheduled yes, on the 16th, right. which is, I think, a, a, a meeting night that we are meeting on. That's yes, one the 16th, mm -hmm. our so next regularly scheduled meeting. we need to figure out, as a board, when we, what we would like to do about that, if we want to um, bump it up another one, like, what makes sense? What does everybody think? And when can everybody make it? And well, how heavy is the agenda for that? At the moment, it's, it's doable on um, 
That's November 6th. I, I put it under, you have this to So that's so, November 6th. And I, the, the one thing that would have been a hang up, but I think <laughs> that they're going to need their own time to get ready for it is the solar company with the battery. Mm -hmm. uh, they have to prepare the plans and everything and mm -hmm. submit the application. So I don't think they're going to be ready like within two or three weeks. It might take them until November to get ready with their application. Do you think that we should skip that meeting and just kind of double up on November 6th? Either that or choose to, if it's possible, choose to have it say on November, I mean, I'm sorry, October 17th or October 9th. If we do it on the 23rd, that still leaves two weeks before that. Exactly. The next two weeks. Yeah, it depends so. on how busy our agenda is and is there anything that's pressing to get cleared up before November? I don't think there, there was is. something that was pressing it out. I don't remember what it was, but we want to get it settled as soon as possible. Do we, we don't have any deadlines or anything that, that are coming up that we would need. No, um, the only one that was really an issue was 299 Sturridge Road, and they've actually asked to be continued, except for it was till October 16th, which that's the one that's that we're going to cancel. Right. Well, we can bump so if, that, I mean, if they, that pushed off to November 2nd, is that going to be a big deal? November 6th. November 6th. November 6th. November 6th. Really November 6th. Really so it's not going to be a big deal. Mm -hmm. So do we want to play it by ear, and then if something if if something does come up and we need to meet, or whether it's um, whether we need to meet, so we have a tomorrow night we have a meeting executive session for which um, BGG for BGG. So um, yeah. so I don't know about it. Um, right. So we have executive session, and then we have a joint session. So okay. if something if something comes up. We I'm just thinking if we plan a meeting for the 23rd, I hate stacking the agendas because to be here till 11 o'clock is unfair to the applicants, it's unfair to us, and I think that way because by 10 o'clock at night, you're tired, you want to get out of here. Not you personally, but I mean, I, oh, I want to get me. out. I'm tired, <laughs> I want to get out, and to have an applicant who's been sitting here since 7 down, a planning board member at 10 o'clock trying to make a sound decision, I just think it's only fair to have another meeting as opposed to because you just I don't know what's going to come well, in in the interim. I, right. I will say, you know, if and it probably still wouldn't end up being a long meeting. We have two that I know they're, that the 299 Sturbridge Road, they submitted their revised plans. It's just a matter they did it yesterday, so Mike Andre hadn't had the chance sure. to respond. The first one, if you look at the draft for the November 6th meeting, um, Ponica Hill subdivision, that's a, it's a mess <laughs> in there, but they're straightening it out. But the one thing is, the builders actually taking over trying to get this done because we're trying to get foundations in for houses mm -hmm. before it gets too cold. So right. if we were to push it up it would probably be a big help to him. He's aware, you know, I explained to him the whole issue with the town meeting today and everything and he understands, but honestly he, he would be very happy if we could accommodate that application earlier. And that's what I'm saying is that we don't know what's going to come in in the interim. We might end up with an agenda that goes till midnight because mm -hmm. things just yeah, keep coming. I would. So, do you want to you want to schedule a meeting for yes. the twenty third? Yes. Uh, we want to yes. post the Wednesday before. Yes. Um, and make sure we announce as soon as possible that we're I jumping to the sixteenth. I have had a couple of comments about. I know we're not the only board that posts forty eight hours, but let's just set a set up a standard, and we will as we'll as soon as we know. We'll, yes. we'll post the Wednesday before, and then we'll modify the 48 hours, the Monday if necessary. Yes. Okay. Because we usually know what's going on. Absolutely. And then if we have to do a tweak, just, again, I had a couple of residents make a co couple comments and I, w I just want to, um, you know, we're there, we're yeah. here for them, so let's post the Wednesday, exactly. if we can, the Wednesday before. Um, but let's schedule a meeting for the 23rd. And if it doesn't fill up, if you can throw a couple of things on November 6th and you know we don't need that meeting, everybody will be happy and we'll have some free time. If not, then... Well, that's why I think that not everybody's going to be ready for the 23rd anyways, but some okay. of them will be ready. Right, so even if we come in for an hour, get them out of the way. Right, it's going to help six. them. And It'll save us an hour. Let's, yeah. have yeah. Have yeah. Let's have a vote to schedule a meeting, and then if we have to cancel, we have to cancel, but at least we have a vote to schedule it. Right. And then we'll I'll we'll make a motion that we schedule our next, we bump our meeting from October 16th, 2019 to October 23rd, 2019. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Meeting will be on the 23rd. All right. So. 7-Eleven, um, we have, we don't have to use, do we have the, the table side? What's that? I don't know if I have it.
Do you open the phone? Anybody for another? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Unless he's playing cast for Halloween, he's not up there. <laughs> Is he aware that he's to be here tonight? Mm -hmm. I spoke to him this afternoon, explained to you know that we were talking about it, so we I don't think he feels that there's any issue based so, on my <clears throat> Well, so, we can continue. He doesn't need to be here. Right. Yeah. Okay. So let's. Do we have we have Graves' report in front of us? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we met on. Uh, I'm sorry. I don't remember. Last Monday, anyway. But uh, at the site and everything. Walked the site. Both uh, Gary Foskett, the highway supervisor, myself, and Mike Andrade, and we walked the subdivision from end to end. You know, pointing out all the defects up there and all the. The items that still have to be addressed with there are numerous items um, and Mr. Bearden said he's going to take care of all that and his I think some of the things we pointed out to him this lighting and trees that have to be done and everything and he sounded like yeah I know but you know surprise voice let's put it that but way. Aren't, <laughs> but so I drove up there I thought it was oh a, do that. a master oh. A mess. Yes, well. And, and where are the where are the light poles? Well. Not this. <laughs> yeah, there, there's no bases. There's, there's not no even nothing, like nubs so or anything. I don't even so know. Like, what are, are there wires under the ground or? I don't. Uh, honestly, I don't believe there's anything. So, so you gonna? He said he's taking into account for him. I don't know. So what, he's gonna what, undo. There's nothing there. Undo what he did and then like. So. Yes, that's what he's going to have to so do. So I think with. like the last meeting, the yes. last meeting we had, not I know I missed one meeting and it was also discussed. We kind of drew that line, we did. like not in the sand, like in the cement with say per, with that's with right. paint, right? And said this needs to be done. That's like right. like we can't have him come in every few months saying, you know, um, it's going to yeah. be done, it's going to be done, and now we're going to get to another season. Right. So um, what the dis I'm coming in here going, this, we have a new bond estimate because I specifically called and I said, have Mike do a new bond estimate. I want to, my opinion is we pull the bond, we take care of it, it's done, and the residents don't have to worry about yep. the subdivision ever not exactly. being done. It's done and it's over and we don't have to deal yep. with it anymore. Um, it's, we have a lot of meetings, we can't waste our time. Right. I think, I think we, was it, is it six or seven times or oh. more? It's got to be more than that. That, the, that we've been yeah, kind of saying, been, okay, okay. Our job isn't to hold anybody's hand. We we've given we've been as kind as and 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 probably more kind than we should have. That's what's in my mind. Um, what what is everybody else? So I mean, I see uh, with the bond that we have, I'm not sure that's enough to finish it. Cause I see here fifty four hundred dollars for street lights. I, I confirmed that with Mike money. Andre because Patsy had brought that subject up about yeah. whether that money would finish the work that needs to be done there. And he said yes. Really? Okay. And I, I oh, the question it myself. Is the lights even? Is the run for the electricity? Okay, so there's, the only, three, the, the there's only three street lights going I think in. They're I, underground. I, so. I think they're covered up by dirt. I thought they there's were. no okay, basis for the lights. No he admitted that. And he says that there, there's been conduit run. I, don't see it. You know. it, it looks like because usually, just, even if you have it underground, you bring it up to a point right. in That's market correct. so you yeah. know where to find Flag it. it and everything. Yeah, correct. exactly. And it's it's nothing. like a whole bunch of dirt was just spread on everything, and That's basically what happened. Mm -hmm. So not okay. No. The last time um, he was here, we said these are the contingencies. Don't come back until they're fulfilled. And by the sounds of it, he's back and they're not fulfilled. We're not back. Well, he's not back. Um, <laughs> right. <Yeah. laughs> so what? I mean. I think you kind of said that last time. Last time you came here, is that if I didn't get it done, hold on. I, I believe that's what he said. But I don't want to speak. So whatever the process is, we would, I, we we need to vote to to pull that bond and to to get it in the motion, and then it's out of our hands. It kind of goes into um, is it Kurt's hand? I mean, no, how, I don't know. No, no Mike handle and he puts it out for right. okay. estimates from other the contractors. contractors okay. I wouldn't be surprised just given the situation that Mr. Reardon might challenge it though. Oh, I have and no doubt. Well, yeah, so I mean, we'll have to just be ready to deal with that. Do we want to, re 
and Randy reach out to him and say, listen, this is what we talked about. Do you have X, Y, Z days to get nope. this done? Nope. Or okay. We already gave him X, Y, Z, yeah, okay. and, and an extra double A's. He's double working on but double like the problem is um, they put in all the cash bases and they put them all wrong. wrong. So now they're currently taking them all out and doing it again. You know, it's just all right, constant. Yeah, it's time. So do we have a motion to pull this, to pull this bond and have it go through the standard process of getting the work done and getting it hopefully done before the season ends. We won't get done before the season ends. Yeah, the season. One thing is the top code of the road probably won't get done because there's so much, every, the end, numerous dry, driveways have to now be fixed because they're pitched, the water's coming down the oh, road, yeah, we it'll go down too, the driveway. Right? Yep. Well, that, so numerous driveways have to be right. cut out and repaired. The, the, the curbing at the end of mm -hmm. almost every driveway is wrong, so they have to be cut out and repaired. There's many things that have to be done that the likelihood of getting it done it's just is not fair to the no. it's, just, it's just not no. fair to the residents up there. Let's the other concern is he, there's there's probably other things he hasn't done for the residents, and that's not on this list. Um, and my guess is that once we pull the bond, he's going to stop. Well, we all, I think so. we just. We just need to do this, and then if the residents need to do a personal lawsuit against him, then that's on them. But I think that at least we owe. Do we have the, some the residents here? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> so are we going down the right? <laughs> it's a, no. So it's a public hearing. <laughs> let's yeah. let's continue let's the public hearing. So the question I had about the road, if it's not going to get finished this season, he's already raised everything. So how are they going to plow the roads? Are going to have to drop everything back down or? I mean, that's, that's going to be a big issue with the plows hitting the mantle covers. Agreed. No, Mr. We've had well, that last year. Yeah, yeah Ms. Mr. Reardon said he was going to get it paid this year. Mm -hmm. It's I possible, yeah. but I know he has a lot of work to do before he gets there. Yeah. So, um, basically, you can pave up till December 1st. It depends on the weather. As soon as it starts getting really cold, yeah, the plants will start making yeah. asphalt. Yeah. So that's what really gears whether he's going to pay that road or not. <laughs> My question is, if you do pull the bond and each you're going to put bids out, it's obviously not going to have enough time to get done this year. Correct. Those are already raised structures, so now that's another issue that's going to be a rust, a problem. It, what are I the mean, options? The other the option is for us to wait again and meet again yeah. on the on November, you know, October 23rd, but do we really, do, uh, I mean, we, we want to, we're, we're here to, we're here to rec you know, kind of to remedy the situation that we have. Um, so in front of us is the idea of do we want to pull it and just at least we know it'll get done? Well, or do we want to? One thing to consider given the time of year and everything is that Mr. Reardon wants to get that road paved because, you know, he's got a huge major yep. part of the bond is the road. That's but why he's focusing on it. The it. Way everything else that's is. why he's up there. They're currently. I mean, are they mess, working? They're currently is it, is it all even, the cash basins and everything. I mean, you you were up there with Mike. Yeah. Is it even possible for him to throw a coat to cover to fit, to do those roads with the with with all the raisings with all with with, uh, with with it all raised up and everything? Is it even possible if we said, all right, you have until October thirty first. If it's not done on October thirty first, we're pulling everything. Um, is that even possible, or do we just get it over with tonight and just pull that bond and start the process? Uh, Jerry Fosca said it, it might be possible, but it really depends on how quickly he got started and gets the work done, because he has to it, he has to do the repairs in the road, and then he has to repair the ends of all the driveways. And looking at the history of what we've seen, if, what, do you, what do you feel? If it's not done by November 6th, <coughs> it's probably not going to get done. So we have another meeting on November 6th. Want to push it off until then to skip the opportunity. I think we vote to pull the bond on November 6th. And if it's in, uh, on that date, and then it's over. It's, so, uh, comments from the public. Yeah. <laughs> I'm try, I'm, we're trying to, yeah. we're trying to yeah. do the best for you. We're not. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You have to identify yourselves and we can do it right. Sorry, uh, Ross. I'm terrible. Yeah, this road. Um, well, if, if the bond is pulled now, um, and the only concern at that point is that we have the raised structures, and that's going to be a problem with the plows. I mean, if you go through any city where they're in the middle of repairing a road, you'll see they'll put little berms up right. over to, right. the, mm -hmm. to, to create. Is that a, something that could be considered? Again, non I mean, Hill side road. Yeah. <laughs> you know, could berms be? If Personally, you pull the bond today, right? If you pull the bond today, is it something that 
um, you know, that goes into bond process. I understand that. Not sure what it is, but then could we look <laughs> at? <laughs> we'll all learn <laughs> as we go through that. But could there be a commitment of you know, almost like ramps? Well, that's committing town funds. We have to okay. go to the board right. of selectmen. That's Jerry. That's, that's, that's Jerry that's, that's our highway yeah. superintendent. Okay. But he's going to have to plow it anyways. And. Does, is it, does the town plow it? Or I does, thought it was no. The town does not plow it. Right? No, I don't think so. Yeah. Yeah. We get a single path from him. That's what I thought. Yeah, yeah. yeah technically, yeah. we have yeah. a neighbor down the hill that does the rest yeah. of it. Yeah, because yeah. you guys That's have a neighbor list yet. Yeah. Correct. It might be in the best interest to give. He's currently working on, and then if he stops working, and by the time the town actually get somebody out there to do the repairs. We're probably talking winter. So now it's going to be left undone. Exactly. If we, he's focusing on trying to get that road paid, maybe if we give him the opportunity. And then if he hasn't finished the other work, because if the road was paid and then we pull the bond to get the rest of the work done, yes. then at least the road's done. Exactly. Because my concern is that that is still a private roadway. So Tim is the only one plowing it. So if we pull the bond and he decides he to stop away. entirely and he walks, well then now we have a whole bunch of residents who better buy really nice snow blowers or because they're not going to have the town plowing the roadways and we want to do what's right for everybody and I just don't think that would be fair. The road no. should be the last thing that gets paid. Right, it has yeah. to be the last that's thing. The road that's was, you yeah. have to fix everything and then pay the road. The other work is outside of the road. It's the road curving on the driveway. I manholes that need to be That's readjusted. in the middle of the road. Yeah, but they paved over them. Yeah, and so then there's some of them are raised with the concrete brick too. Yeah, that so he's repairing that so they don't have to come out for be redone. That's what they're currently mm -hmm. working on. So there. so what no. what's the worst thing that can happen? He does it half ass. Right. Excuse my terminology. And now there's only this much left of a bond because you know like so so now it's gonna cost even more to fix it if it's done wrong because things are being done wrong. You see, you see the mistakes, there's things done backwards. Well, if it's done wrong, he doesn't get the bond back. But there, but there won't be enough in the bond to even they'll fix they'll what's done. Because we'll have to undo what's done, right. and that'll add a bunch of cost to it. That's well, the problem. The board, he's, at, he's requesting a bond reduction. The board can say no. no. We already told him no. He did yeah. that once before. But that's right. what he's requesting, you know, it's like a $60,000 yes, reduction. Yes, he tried that before. say no, because we're not satisfied, no. and we have major concerns that the town might be paying. How much more can it be? I mean. The construction people. <laughs> um, how much more? How much damage could he cost? Could it? Could it? Could he cost fifty thousand dollars worth of damage if he does the road wrong? Oh, of course. Yes. Pull it up. Easy. So, so Easy. if we say hurry up and do it by November sixth, so we're pulling your bond, and he hurries up and does it, and he does it wrong. Then, However, it can be wrong, I mean, and then well, there won't be enough money to fix you, it. So does the town want to be responsible when he goes for a shitty, or excuse me, a, a junky road? Then you're going to have to come in. The town's going to have to come in and hire someone to make all the repairs, and in the end, the product is not going to be good. And the people living here aren't going to really want a, a, a bad product at the end. Wait, so, product. so, so, what's the least risky thing to do here? I would say, give them to, yeah. Yeah, give them to October, or the end, end of October thirty first, November sixth. November sixth, end of November sixth. And don't and vote to not give him. The bond, the bond no, 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 absolutely not. Just on circumstances, yes. so in the numbers in that bond, that I, I mean, Mike Andre said that it would cover the current cost, but Jerry Foskett knows that you know price of asphalt goes exactly. up. Exactly. Because so. I'm, I'm nervous because things have already been done wrong, so they have right. to like, things are in backwards and stuff, right? Yeah. So, is there any way that, that, Mike can can somebody go up there and make sure that, it's Kind of, not, not that we need to pay for the inspection either, process. To kind of inspect the process a little more, because what if now and again, he doesn't fix things the way he's been fixing. He's he, do, he does things the way he's been doing things, and now he he throws a coat over that, and and now we can't see, and we can't you know, and, oh, know. and now yes. we have to pull everything off yes. and fix it again, and there is not enough money to yep. fix that. That's what my biggest worry is. So. If, and we're saying let's give him another chance. Um, well, at, at this point, I'm, we've given him a chance for how many years now? Has it been a couple of years? Four, at least two. You might yeah. request that Mike Andre goes here like once a week. And yeah, we'll 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 yeah, we'll yeah, we'll we'll drive by the progress of your you right. know, to take a look at the work as it's being done so right. it doesn't get completed and then have to be taken all apart. But the road is the easiest thing. He calls someone and they come bathe it. 
That's yeah, all but the, it's uh, all the other things yeah, that you have to do wrong. That's what he should be working on now. Yeah. Getting that. We don't have that's a list why, of everything else. We don't have the Graves report yeah. here. We just no. have the. the had to be sure. Sure. Mm -hmm. It'd be nice if Mike went up and Mike would go up. It's like, Please all right, you got this. You got that. Put a few things on the Graves report. The old, you know, the and then Jerry Foskett's also been personally involved because the town basically takes over the road once everything's yes. complete, and Gary doesn't want to inherit a problem. So I mean, I mean, if he's if he if he's close by. If he's close, have you been up there? Have you by, seen it? Uh, yeah. But if he's close <laughs> so. by November six, that gives them the whole month of, right. of November to pay. pay. And oh, if yeah. it's a nice that they pay right till they pay all the time now, but right. they pay right till it gets too cold. I agree with that. Yeah. 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 So can I? I'm sorry. So Domington Hill, twenty five Hyde Road. Um, my concern is I'm one of the drivers he has to rip up to fix the, the mess up, and I don't. I have no faith in what he is able to do or his subcontractors. So that's my issue. They're going to be working on it, but they're going to do a shit job, kind of to your point. Some of the and we worked up. really hard on what we're trying, what he left us with, and I just don't want to have to deal with more headaches than we already are. So I don't know. That. So I mean, when he does that job, he's going to have to do do it to the, the satisfaction of the engineer. <coughs> Engineer. So if he doesn't do it right, he doesn't get his money back for that. So that money still stays in the bond. So it won't get fixed correctly, mm -hmm. whether he does it or we have to do it next spring. Yeah. Right, and again, let me clarify. So my issue is <coughs> he's going to do work. And we'll also have this bond. We'll have $373,000, right? And now he does more stuff wrong because things are getting done wrong. And again, That's why Mike's going to. Mike yeah, Andrew is so, so, so weekly. So yep. we want we want weekly inspections and um, at least weekly. And, yes. He doesn't and get Mr. his bond back if he doesn't do it right. That's if correct. the tax well, are yeah. and it's but not right. The bond he doesn't, doesn't mean that. anything if it's a hundred thousand dollars more than this, and it's not a hundred thousand sure. dollars to fix it. That's the problem. The one issue we're going to have is Mr. Reardon is not going to pay for Mike to come. He's going to he's going to have to. So that's the that's a the stipulation stipulation of the bond stipulation of the bond. He either pays Mike or he doesn't. He doesn't. He doesn't pull the bond. Yeah, or we pull the bond. It's a cause and effect. Yeah. Okay. okay. So no, but I'm just saying. Exactly. I know that's going to be his. Oh, yeah. Yeah. absolutely. Yeah. So part so work. And he's going to. So he brought us on the first time. Yeah. We wouldn't have to do we it. Write, that's correct. No, I agree. We can do. We could do a letter, and say he didn't show up. Um, and here's the deal. That's if, right. If we if we we're going to vote to either pull your bond, or you are going to agree. That you're going to pay for Mike to go up there for weekly, weekly inspections, and then on November <coughs> six, you'll come into our board, and if it's and if it's done, we won't pull your bond. Bond, and if it's not done, we will pull your bond. I think that's and destroy. Excellent. Can we? Does that sound yes. reasonable? And you'll you'll send out a, a nice letter. Yes. I'll make a motion for that. <laughs> Do we have a second for that? Second. <laughs> All in favor? Aye. 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 Um. So you want to report? From Mike Andre Weekly. for the November six meeting, yes. yeah. basically the status. Mm -hmm. yes, and, and, and for Mike to visit, um, yeah. weekly. at least weekly, weekly yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, no. we want to see those electrical. We want to see before something gets planted on top of them. We want to see those little nubs <laughs> for those electrical poles, the, the lights and all that supposed to be there. And also, you need to make a motion to not. Uh, reduce the bond amount. Oh, I will make a motion not to reduce the bond amount and leave it as is. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Excuse me, I just have something to say as well. Megan Berkum, 11 Downey. Um, we need to consider the safety of our kids in the neighborhood as well. Um, it's really unfortunate that I tell my kids they can't go ride their bikes down the street because of all the safety concerns. And the longer we push this off, the longer the kids who we moved in this neighborhood for this reason are not able to enjoy it. Yep. So. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I have to say the likelihood when if the board decides to pull the bond, there's probably going to be a lawsuit, and everything's going to come to yes. a standstill yes. for as long as that lawsuit goes on. I have no doubt. So I understand that. That's why we're trying to. How can we get him exactly. to get some of this done so we don't have to go yeah. that route? Mm -hmm. yeah. Eventually, eventually it'll get done. But do you want to? Which fine? Which fine? That's correct. Yeah. Like no. I, I under like I understand how you're, but on our side, if. If we push too hard, That's then right, it, right. everything gets like yeah. in a lawsuit, and you may not have it done for three. You know what I'm saying? And if no, it's, we understand. And if it's helpful, you know, we feel you're mediating well. 
and I think you need to hear that as a board as well. You've heard our concerns, you've given us voice and a forum for this voice when our conversations directly with our builder have broken down. So thank you and we appreciate that and we know you're looking for the best interest of all. Um, as much as we just want it done. <laughs> you know, for some of us, you know, we all do, right? I mean, you know, husband and I, we've been there for four years and no We want part. it done too. Uh, it's more, it's an unfortunate situation. I spent more time ah. in that subject than I've been anywhere in this town. It's just, you know, it, it, you know, it's home and we want exactly. it to be home and right. we want it to feel like home. And I mean, as much as we enjoy being here, We'd like to not be here. Well, you want the home you were resolved. sold. But we do have candy. You want candy, the home so you were sold. You want the subdivision you were sold. <laughs> we have you the house we were sold. We have the house we were sold. But I mean, you want the neighborhood the way it was sold to you. Yeah. Yeah. And that's, yes. and we're trying to make thank everybody you. happy. Yes, so thank you. Thank you. Um, we always like when people like us. We have, so we're voted, we're done, and the letter will be out. Yeah, I'll send the letter out. Um, Are we continuing or closing the public hearing? We're going to continue the public hearing. We make a motion to continue yes. the public hearing second. until November 2nd? 6th. Six. 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 No, November 6th. Okay. I keep saying the 2nd. Six. November 6th? 2nd. All in favor? Aye. Because you keep saying 2nd. I do. Right. I do. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Good luck. <laughs> it was I know, I know, I didn't write it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. okay. I am not going to understand. It isn't even a public hearing. It's in this discussion. We have Otis Land Management, um, Foster Bridge oh. Road. Why did pass it out? Yeah, uh, continue public hearing. For for Sherry, right? What are you talking about? Yeah, and he also wants the one. Good, how are you? Oh, it's, it's oh, okay. yeah. Yeah, this is the uh, great engineering report for uh, Fort Sherwood Road. Thank you. Oh, let me grab the plan. The, the plans are in. Um, and pass it around. Uh -oh. We can't put them out the foods in there. We'll take that off your hands. Always have good stuff. <laughs> right, this is not um, the plan. Yeah, it's not the plan. Hey, Mr. Burke, yeah, you can go yeah, over the okay. changes that have been addressed since the last time. Yes. Okay, hi, I'm Kalisto Burton. Um, since we were here last time, we did a couple of things. Um, we, we actually uh, did an updated survey of the property, or certain parts of the property. Um, we did test pits because the grades have changed. We wanted to check the groundwater, and we did several test pits along the site. No groundwater, so not an issue. Um, the other purpose of the, of the survey was to do some coordination down at the, at, on, on Route 20, but also um, to survey the stone retaining wall. So we did that. And um, I talked to the building inspector today as to what he wanted, and I prepared a letter and a drawing for him. The drawing that's referred, I'll give you this letter, just saying that the wall was repaired as, as um, recommended by our, our other office, our geotechnical company. Um, Adam to, uh, asked the, the wall to be reduced to a certain height and the slope behind the wall to be limited to a certain slope portion of the wall is going to be relocated still, and that's on the drawings, and um, we will provide a new design for that wall because that wall will actually be higher. Right? Do you have, have you heard from Kurt? I know he was waiting for that information. Yeah, I, letter. Yeah. Right, I talked to him today, okay. and I just didn't get the letter to him in time. Okay. Can I get a letter of that for the drop off? Tomorrow? Yeah, he's going oh. to get okay. into, into conservation. Okay. Also, in doing that, we uh, um, better defined the widening of Griffin Road, okay, which is shown on there, and then the intersection with the, the, the site driveway. Probably the third Okay. 
Okay, so what's the date on these plans? <laughs> oh, this. Those are the old drawings. Could this be? No. No, no, no. The revision oh, date. 30. Oh, revision. Revised by. No, September. Yeah, we revised September 10th. Here. They put up the wrong one. You, you have another set, set over there? Yeah. <coughs> I should have put them on an easel. Okay, so can we get the Oh, yes, 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 that's the other thing. Okay, the overall site plan and now the and the site plan. So we, we, we find this. You can see we, op we, we actually surveyed to get the location of the utility pole. So um, as you come in Griffin Road, there's a driveway. Mm -hmm. You know, there's a paved area here which is all going to get removed. So starting from that driveway, mm -hmm. we opened it. it up and we set the curb 12 feet mm -hmm. off the property line. So we're widening this and we made a new entrance here. We'll have a curb come back to meet the existing edge of the pavement now. Right? And in doing that, we have a, a fence that goes around the detention bases, which is in the front. We, we cut that back to make sure we have adequate site distance. Right? And as a result of this, we have an application to the DOT. They're 25% right through. They told us what the fees are, but I, I, I haven't gotten any other input from them. Sorry. No, that's okay. Mm -hmm. I have a question about that because in the, the grades engineering report, it said that you know you had applied to the DOT, but the DOT had rejected this before. No, uh, apparently he somewhere. Uh, you know what? When the, when the application was changed to the self storage, we did not anticipate going to the DOT. So we didn't want to do anything that required a DOT permit. Right. When we agreed to widen the road, well, now we're going to the <laughs> DOT. So what happened was the, the detention basin in front overflowed to a level spreader, which overflowed over the ground and went into the inlet out in the street. Well, that's fine, but it's always better if, if now we're going to the DOT to connect right in to the uh, drainage system, it's going there anyway, rather than having water spill over the curb sure. and possibly create an ice situation on the road. I mean, so, so I, I saw the, the comment in Graves' letter that the DOT doesn't normally allow this, but we've got commercial projects all over, over other highways, but we have no choice and we, we yeah. connect it to the right. state's drainage system. So look, if they say no, for whatever reason, we already had a design, no, I, we I just, would. I was just asking because he made a note of that. In his right, and I was going to get to that. Um, but if they say no, we already had a design with a level spreader that's already been reviewed. We just put it back on the drawing. Great with computers. You can just <laughs> put it back on. So yeah. we'll do that. But it just, it right. just makes, makes so much more sense to do uh, what we're trying to do. Seems far more cost effective. Yeah, yeah, it's probably a little cheaper to do it, but then again, just to have all that water mm -hmm. from the basin, whatever overflows now, right. you know, and you know you're going to have some erosion, even though we have um, mm -hmm. gravel and, and stuff there. Oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. right, I mean, right there at that intersection. Mm -hmm. So, also, um, talked to our client, and we, we, we came up with the design for the the office building at the entrance, nice. right? Nice, simple, but mm -hmm. in character of the area, mm -hmm. you know. Um, uh, so, and, and this is a square design. We, we've done a number of other self storages, usually bigger, and, and sometimes they have highway view. They want a second story, so they can put boxes and things so people can see them. Um, anyway, we, we changed the, the design so we could have the bathrooms in the office. Um, and then in doing so, we kind of changed the configuration of the building. So now the building is parallel or perpendicular. Um, oh, so you'll able to see it from 20 and it'll look Right. Like oh, that's so good. that's why we'll have a sign on the back. And that was one of the things on the elevation that we'll have a building sign. Yeah. You see right on the back. Oh, very nice. Okay, and it'll it'll be tasteful. Right. It'll be yeah, part, part of the building. Really nice. It's going to look yeah, really, nice. really nice. And of course, Ralph's going to make a nice sign. We just put <laughs> building sign. <laughs> building sign. <laughs> <laughs> He'll have something creative over there. I, you know, something nice with an arch, whatever, to fit in there um, would be good. I thought that, that would, and would dress it up because when you come up um, uh, to the intersection, it's going to be sitting way up there. Uh, which will be nice, yes. Any landscaping or anything there? Yeah, we, we have landscaping. Um, um, there's a landscape plan. 
actually remember when I said four sheets. I'm getting old. i got to be reminded. Of how to well, we added. I don't think you were here when we talked about it. Um, hey, you know what Pastor would say to me? He said, I'm that old. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't admit it on camera, but now you put it on camera. <laughs> okay. So we, we have... This is the bottom of the basin, so there's landscaping along here, there's landscaping uh, here as well, but then again, we're up. So we have some trees around here, and we put uh, landscaping um, along the neighbor's property here, and, oh yes, yes, over here. This is, again, to block any light view to the, the homes that are over here. Okay? Any pushback from any of the abutters? No, they were here at the last yeah. meeting, yeah, okay. and they were... Uh, yeah, they, so the they, they were nervous at first. One of the yes, they property near the driveway had an issue about right. buffering, and they've addressed it yep. to her satisfaction. So. Yeah. Right. And actually, we're going down, so this is lower. Oh. So, you know, it's not like any lights from here are going to shine right. in. And we, we revised the, the lighting. There's no floodlights. They're all box down lights uh, and lights along the building. Okay, what, else, what else do we have open on this space? Okay, so I we can go to the, the letter. Yeah, they have a, a, a lot of drainage items that's really, um, that they're asking for information um, in based, on, based on drainage, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the, the other uh, items have been pretty well addressed, uh, but when we get into drainage, which we get into their item number, um, well, 16, 16 to 20 were already addressed. Um, 21, he was talking about, and we can comply with everything he's asked for. I think we have to discuss it. Some of these things, like item 21, um, nothing's changed on, for that aspect of the, of the project that would require a new comment. You know, we've changed other things, but we haven't changed these. So he was asking just about how we're treating uh, suspended solids. In, in, in yeah, here. he just wants a report on it. Y yeah, uh, we'll, we'll go we'll over that. Calculate. Okay, um, let's see, 22 is okay, 23. Oh, uh, he asked a comment if you want to inspect before and after construction Griffin Road. We're widening Griffin Road, so I imagine he'll handle that during the course of... Yeah, the highway foreman will obviously have to review right. whatever he's proposing to do. Right. Sure he's satisfied. Okay. Uh, So we get into 24. Oh, oh yeah, a, a comment about, um, he was worried about groundwater, you know, because the site's been lowered, but then the groundwater adjusts when the site's lowered. And as I said, we did test pits all over. We didn't encounter any groundwater, but they were worried about, he was worried about groundwater because of the cut for this road to come down. And we did put under drains uh, on the side of the road. They're there. I thought I said that, but I'll just make it clear to them that we put them in. Okay. Let's see. 28. Oh, this is a comment about the remaining wall in the back because part of the wall that's being relocated is that stone wall that we just addressed that we lowered to 7 feet. But the back part of it goes up to 15 feet. We'll have, just have to provide a new detail for that. And have you been to the Conservation Commission or you have to go? I already nope. been. Kurt's just, I mean, uh, Todd's just waiting on this, but I only have one plan for Kurt. So tomorrow I'm going to make a copy of it at Staples, and I'm going to bring Todd a copy because the letters. Uh, the revised wall plan? Not the revised wall plan is on the original plan as far as the replication. Well, the wall relocation and the replication plan are shown there. I just have to give you a construction detail of the wall. Is that what Todd's waiting for? No, Todd's waiting for this. That the to say the wall that we lowered meets that you're oh, happy and it, Kurt's okay. happy. Well, not he, the, they are and I'm happy. <laughs> and Kurt, you guys will be Todd happy. already approved the wall stain. So Todd didn't care if it was 30 nope. feet high or it was one foot. It can, the base of the wall can stay where it is because it just bumps in on, on, the, uh, on the wetland. Okay. We picked up the replication, so we're going to make the replication to whatever square footage that the Conservation Board already approved. So Todd wanted this letter that I have here, but I want to give Todd a copy of the plan too. Right. So I'm going to, tomorrow morning, I'm going to give Todd a copy of the plan and the letter, and Kurt as well. So both boards, Kurt and Conservation will be all set. 
Yeah, but they already that. approved yeah, it. We, if should the board approve it, then it would be taken. Tradition that they're having. Exactly. Right. And, and the letter that I just gave you, the, the plan is part of the set. I just, okay. okay. So the second wall is 15 feet high, you said? Well, yes, in the back. Right now, yeah, we have it at 15. Does that go against the eight foot height? That's no, no, that was for, because the way the wall, this is a stone wall. And it's a gravity wall. So we had to analyze the gravity wall and how much it could handle. Mm -hmm. So um, if we want a 15 foot high wall, we have to design a different wall than what was built. Okay. And the way we found out about what we, we actually dug test pits or had test pits dug behind the wall so we could see how deep was the base, how big are the stones, and that sort of thing. Um, item, well, 29, I thought I signed the letter, but you know, it's just a signature. Item 30, he asked for a table. It's a real academic thing, a table with the bottom of our infiltration bases and the bottom of groundwater, but I said we didn't hit groundwater, so it's kind of academic. We'll get that squared away. Item 31. Oh, um, in item 31, he's asking us about uh, infiltration trenches and routing our storm through them, but the infiltration trenches are designed as storage. And this is something I'll just clear up with him. It, they're not designed to route water through as a detention basin. They're designed just to accept water, and eventually it'll percolate into the ground. All right. Um, okay, item 23 is similar. We have infiltration. I mean, we, we, we know that the ground perks. That's it. Um, item 33, um, our, our downspouts from the building go into these infiltration trenches. Since the water's clean, we don't have to clean them again, clean the water. Um, and if the infiltration trenches should fill up, we usually we have an overflow at the downspout, and he just wants a detail. Okay, the next group of questions up to 40 have been answered. He acknowledges. Um, oh. Oh, at 41 is where he wants to know the offset between the groundwater and the bottom of the infiltration basins. We didn't hit groundwater, so. We'll, we'll address that. Okay, and the rest, items 42, 43, 44, have been uh, acknowledged. No, no, nothing has to be changed. And item 45 is where he asks about the connection to the yeah. DOT storm drains. You'll system. get back to us on the, the mascot. Yeah, when we get it, and if for some reason they'd rather have the water flow over the street, uh, we can just put the prior design back. And I've never seen one of those catch basins over the fall, anyways, because they're built for a six year storm, a hundred year storm. So, I mean, I got two down at Route 20 that's always dry, you know what I mean? So, I mean, I don't even ever see more than a foot of water when, when you get the trench will down for us. So, when do you guys, when do you think you're going to be done? Here? We're done. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, we, we have to, I don't know when the DOT is going to get back to us. They've had the um, application for several months. Because oh, we, we can respond to the letter and have that squared away. I, I think that, I don't know how you do it, but if that would be a condition of an approval, we'll, we'll just. I think there's a lot open still for well, approval. It's, it's, a, it's actually going to be a lot of drainage information between the two engineers. Mm -hmm. the other outstanding information, the only real outstanding one is the mass DOT approval, but it would be subject to that. Right, yeah. so we right. can, so, so yeah. we could yeah. technically approve yeah. The drainage stuff is just some clarifications with and we'd work it out. You're not going to see a Mike change in the plan. Off, with Mike sign right. off That's and right. mass, right. obviously yeah. the mass out of people the condition. Say, and, I would have to get something and the right sign off right. from, from Kurt oh. and Todd. Mm -hmm. And fire is good? Yeah, they address the issues with yeah. the fire department. They had an issue about the hydrant, the water line. Yeah, we, we at, at the prior meeting, we, we have a new hydrant we brought up here. There's a there's a rolling gate to, to mm. control access. We put a fire hydrant over here. And in one of the and, drawings, there's a truck path. And to Jerry's show the, good, too? Just yeah, well, I mean, the improvements to Griffin Road that they're requiring are going to have to be subject to Jerry's approval. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's so yeah. supervise us. They yeah. have to be. I'll work with Jerry, whatever Jerry wants. Yeah. That's yeah. it. So, what do we think of what? I think we can finish it. Yeah, these are minor things. This is going to be, a, as I put it in my approval letter, it, 
if the board approves it, it's a two-phase project? Yes. Okay. Yes. And is this just, is this for both phases? Yes. We're approving both phases, but what you're going to do is we're, we're going to get one phase done, rent out the buildings, and be working on phase okay. two. Basically, we want to be able to issue a CO and then right when I get so many buildings site work up on the first half, yep. so that you can open up for it. Correct. Start making some. And the, the remaining excavation, there's actually a note on the plans. There's that still that one hill, that'll that has to be done during phase one because we don't want to be taking that out on our newly paved roads. Right. <laughs> I'd like to make a motion we uh, close the public hearing. Second. In favor? Aye. 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 I'd like to make a motion we approve um, this Otis Land Management for storage, self storage facility with uh, items that get approved in this uh, previous report dated September 26, 2019, as well as the Mass DOT approval for uh, the catch basin. And all the other conditions that were discussed. Yeah, conditions with the con approval of the conservation, conservation. commission, the building, the building commissioner, and uh, address the highway comments system. in the town engineer's letter. Yeah. And the improvements are subject to the highway supervisor. Yep. I will second that. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. Thank now, Randy, do I just stop back in here, uh, like, a, say, a month down the road and make sure that? where everything's getting checked off, that you guys are happy? How do you want to handle yes. that? Well, I'm, Mr. Verdon, he's going he, to be he sorry. provide the information <laughs> to Mike, and then it, Mike Andre, the planning board engineer, Mike will have to give me a report that he's addressed all his comments, and then okay. the one thing is, is waiting for the DOT approval. Yep. But it, it's going to be a hold up until there. Yeah, yeah really, we want to get their input before we do anything else. Yeah, but, I mean, it's going to be a condition of right. your approval, so it's a matter. You won't, we won't be able to give you permits to do anything until you <coughs> the so I'll be sending you a letter. Yeah. Um, the, uh, we'll approving the application. Okay. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, board. Appreciate yeah. it. Thank you. Thank you. Um, we have a continued public hearing for Charlton Realty Company, LLC. Yes. Um, they've asked for a continuation to... Yes. Um, well, actually, it was continued to October 16th, but that was... So see if they can come in on the 23rd? What's that? See if they want to come in on the 23rd? They are one of the applicants that might be ready for the 23rd. I just was submitted the revised plan yesterday, so my hands are not chance to comment on So it. I guess we need to come up with a date to continue, but if, nece if, if necessary, if that meeting gets like swiped because they're the only one or whatever, we'll then just we can always right. just con kind of just bump it up for the canceled meeting. They've been pretty flexible because they're not I don't really think trying to beat the weather for winter or anything, so they're just trying to get it. Have the plans substantially changed? Or yes. The DOT made was not happy. The planning board told him to do <laughs> that he okay. didn't want to do, but the okay. DOT okay. said no. So the gate can't go at the at the road. It's got to go in. It's got to go back. It has to be back far enough so a full tractor trailer tractor trailer can pull off the okay. road. So that also mm -hmm. gets rid of his plan of having the, the, the vehicle storage because that fence was right up against the road too. Yeah, well, they only had to provide one gate that, where they had to set it back. Okay. And actually, now they're putting in like double gates so this gate can go open this way and this one can open going that way oh, okay. for the trucks. And uh, they also had to eliminate one of the driveways. DOT did want another driveway up there, hmm. so okay. they had to eliminate okay. the middle. So they did substantially change. Yeah. Okay. yeah. That's that's the biggest thing, yep. you know, that's what they had to do. DOT's careful with that 20. Yeah, yeah well, that, 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 that didn't make me comfortable. No, the I, they, they made me do exactly what was suggested here at the meeting. So, <laughs> you people all actually do know what you're talking about. So we got that sometimes. One. <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> we, we get lucky sometimes. Okay. So many of you around. Right. Right. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Theory of large numbers. I mean, come on. Okay, so we'll continue it. We have a motion to continue it to the 23rd, and then we can always bump it up if we necessary. So moved. So moved. Oh, second. Um, All in favor? Aye. Aye. Um, we have a couple ARs. 
Uh, we have one. You gotta pull a ton of child in first because you're waiting for it. Yeah, your actually. Oh, sounds good. Yeah. It's actually, oh, we don't have it? Oh, well, we it's, well, things have changed. Yeah, okay. so I, I was coming here just to give you sort of a, an update and a okay. little clarification. Um, I'm from the, the, the building committee. Um, we were originally um, asked for an A&R um, to purchase the land. Mm -hmm. um, God bless you guys because I'll fight fires all day long. This whole this whole legal mumble jumble. <laughs> this is, this is awful, right? So um, we had a company that did an A and R for us. Um, they got given direction to do an A and R. They sort of didn't do it correctly, or they didn't do it the way that we it needed to be done. A bunch of land attorneys got involved. Um, like the email chain is impressive. Like, <laughs> So, ended up being they scrapped the A&R plan and they went with an 81X plan. That probably makes sense to you guys. That no, makes no sense to me. It's new to me. It was just a basically um, recertifying the property boundaries on it. And since the property is not changing. Oh, no A&R necessary. Right, no A&R Yeah, necessary. so they went with an 81X plan and they tried doing the A&R, but it ended up being that the A&R was being done to satisfy his Overlook's um, piece of property, um, and not necessarily the town didn't need to do it. So the deed, you know, the check's been cut, the land's been purchased, the, it's an 81X plan now, it's 23 point something acres of land. And you know where your, your boundaries are? And that's why we do, we, and, that's and that was the issue, is that we knew where the boundaries were, but if they wanted to make an A&R plan, they needed to resurvey Mm -hmm. Masonic Homes land that has the nothing whole, to do with this purchase. Yeah. Yeah. And we were yeah. like, why do we need to re why do we need to survey yeah. that piece of property? It has nothing to do with what we're purchasing. So that's why and they we, just have they, a little property, so yeah, right. wrapped around the piece. It was actually yeah, it was, was just a, it's, it's on what we call a wraparound street, piece. Yeah. No, it's on no. the same side of the street. So you have our big piece of land, then you have the three point nine acres for the police department mm -hmm. that they sit on. And then there's the blue house, Chuck yes. Guy's house, which is 1.09 acres of mm -hmm. land. And then there's a little piece of land that wraps from the police station around Chuck Guy's house back to um, Masonic Home between the blue house and the yellow house, mm -hmm. which is like 2.04 acres of land or something like that. Mm -hmm. That's the land that was the jam up. That was the land that was kind of the problem because they couldn't do an A and R plan because they didn't survey that land because that land mm -hmm. was attached to our land. So that's why they. Okay. All of the attorneys are happy. They went with an 81X plan, and, and the lawyers um, I, are happy. Uh, Randy, happy. Randy helped me out tremendously. I sat with Randy because, again, I, I fight fires. I don't, I don't <laughs> deal with any of this. I hire attorneys to do this stuff. So, um, but yeah, so I wanted to come because I knew we were on the agenda. We should be all set, and okay. good. we're good. We're moving thank forward. Thank you. Good. Good. All right. Good. Thanks. Thanks. Thank Appreciate you. it. If I can get the right plan for the A and R. Archangel Realty. Who's behind our table? Who's Archangel? It's Gabriel Kamasi. Oh, yes. Oh, this is the one that. This is a piece of property. Yeah, uh, this, this is, is the A and R stuff. plan, and uh, <laughs> Kamasi Ponderosa. Yeah, bring back the. Um, Do I get to go and like? We've looked at this site. already, so it's just not a... Yeah, right. well, one thing, because, you know, now I'm trying to make sure that everything's done right so that in the future it doesn't come a problem. He hadn't put this one, it's landlocked. It, well, it has a 50 foot, but it doesn't meet our bylaws, so you either have to go for a variance or put in not to consider it a separate lot. That was the one thing he had to redo, Lee, just to put in that not right. a lot. Yeah, but okay. I, so this, right. once this gets filed, and actually somebody else has had an issue where they filed a plan, the town accepted it, and it didn't have that language, yep. so now they're trying to fight with it. It's mm -hmm. another town, but they're trying to fight with them, like, hey, I can build something here. <gasps> the plane that way. Ooh. I mean, often in the condition, so, we've had something similar to that yeah. come through here, too. So, trying to make cross our cheese and dot our eyes so it does not land or something? Yes. Yeah. So, yeah, you have to be careful with the languages to make sure that something doesn't fall through the cracks. I know we already so. looked at this one, too, so. Um, yeah, I see. Any questions or anything? All the other lots, you know, I've checked it. They all meet the current bylaws, so. With the exception, they have to this large parcel here. It's nice to have those big, you know, yeah. nothing parcels. That yes. That yeah. mm -hmm. will just stay like that exactly. forever and pretty much. Well, it's got 50 foot open, so you could do reduced frontage, right? 
Well, that's but it's, not a buildable lot. Why do you have a special permit? Well, he. It's on the plan. Not a buildable lot. Why do you have a special permit? Can you do that? Well, I mean, he yeah. could do something with that land. Yeah. I mean, probably the simplest thing. I mean, 37 acres, he could even go for a variance to have built on a wall. If he doesn't make it, uh, no, it's just reduced frontage. You could do reduced, come to plan what for reduced frontage yeah, special permit, right? For 50 feet, though, with only yeah. 50 feet? That's right. Yeah, that's what the bylaw says 50 feet of front. 10 or more acres. What's, no, what's acres the difference? Right? What's the difference of that flag, fortunately? What's the length? Yeah. The one thing is that flag force so is actually wide enough for a road to be put in there. So if somebody going, you know, I don't think that's ever going to happen, yeah, at least not in our lifetime. But. It should yeah, it's, it's probably about 300 it feet. It doesn't say on the side there. Because look at right there, probably about 300 feet. Okay. Mm. okay, okay. So but even if he chose the variance route, it's very likely that he'd get the variance. 425, 450 feet. Yeah, yeah, really, it just happened to be a... Funky shaped block. I guess that's smart not to, not to mess yeah. up your option, so I guess I'm wrong. It could be the little one. Right yeah. now, he wants to keep that. Yeah, he yeah. wants yeah. He he to keep that. He wants it for his cows, yeah. really. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Which yeah. is yeah. awesome. And this one down here, too, says not to be considered a separate buildable lot. Yeah, plan lot. That lot, lot I, I do believe, is um, going to be sold to an abutter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No world furniture on that Now, right, but then that becomes. Let's see, this guy buys it, it becomes kind of his. Right. Yep. It's one of those lost so rates. I can't remember what yeah. one. Yeah, he had told yeah. us he came in. Yeah. yeah. Isn't right. he putting together two of these lots, too, for one buyer? He may be. Yeah. That's yeah. That's that I'm not aware of. He'd have to come back for that. It's the two lots that he's putting together is the one that's not a buildable lot. Oh, okay. But that he's selling to in a butter. Okay. These two have the same names. Can I see that for I just want to see that for say because... Two open ones. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Like, make me a motion. We approve the A and R. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Recuse. Aye. Everybody can just sign away. I can sign it. I just can't hold any approval. I might Good. know the party that's been pre-approved to buy the parcels. It just did, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That there's yeah. any conflict right now, but. <laughs> they trying to sell those. The, uh, the, the previous owner, the they were a uh, hodgepodge. <laughs> they really made a mess <laughs> of that property. Yeah, that was the whole thing. Right? Yeah. I'm like, I don't know where to go. I think it was 2008, right when everything kind of tanked. Mm -hmm. That's when they, they, they bought that white, the old farmhouse where mm -hmm. Chris lives now, yeah. across the street. Mm -hmm. And they, they chopped out a lot of that house and they sold it. And then they were, I think they were from Connecticut, they don't bring this from Connecticut. They were, they were mm -hmm. trying to sell them. And they sold a few lots. Yeah. But not what they thought they were going to. No, I, mean, I don't think it, they kind of picked the wrong time to do it too. Market's pretty decent still. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's, it's hotter than Hades right now. 30-year interest rates at an all-time low. Real estate inventory is finally, there's finally stuff out there. I mean, it's it's crazy how hot it is. And the house is doing well. Oh, extremely. Yeah. Extremely. Mm -hmm. extremely. Mm -hmm. Taxes you are so low. Yeah. yeah. If you live in Charlton, you look at your assessed value, your pr the amount you could probably sell it for in the open market is about a buck twenty more. Really? Yeah. Nice. Don't let the assessors do they do 100% or is it 70? Um, evaluation? Oh. When, what do you mean? As far as financing goes? No, I mean, what, how is the house assessed? Is it 70% of value? The assessors have this funky system. Yeah. What's going to be? Oh, I know it's minus. Nice. 
Oh, you hope it's nice. Oh, your bill rates are ridiculous in Connecticut. <laughs> yeah. 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 Charlton's at 14.75. My sister in law is at 34 point something. I mean, it's nuts. Mm -hmm. It's not so much. No, it's not so much. I need a place with, that has a barn. Right. That's what okay. I need. Mean. <laughs> I need my chickens that I saw. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I would agree. Oh, well, I, need, I just need a barn of stuff. <laughs> I don't want to call him. <laughs> <laughs> you can bring it to Ralph's place when he's done. Yes, yeah. 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 we go with that. Oh, no, I don't have enough stuff yet. I need to get a part of it. I'm jealous of that. I'm jealous of that. I'm so cross. The guys that are buying it are buying 25 from 683 Hayes, and it's just too much. Oh, okay. Yeah, make it happen. I'll go up by the way. I don't want to talk about these for sale right now. Yeah. Is it all post and green? Yeah, yeah. 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 so you don't have yard that. I have I have a I have more. I have It's between the trees and all my pockets. Yeah. No, the driveway. Probably sturdy. Yeah. I guess I can. There's a um, Amish company out of Connecticut that does awesome barns and garages and stuff, and they're not expensive. They're not cheap, cheap, but they're not expensive. Oh. Uh, My husband's like, you can't take care of the fish tank. Ellie really wanted it. <laughs> yes. yes. No. I don't remember their name, but yes. Yeah, a client they told do, me about that, and they do really nice. That's what I was told, <laughs> yeah. Okay. I really want to see it. Oh yeah, she started I, with me. We used to run years ago, yeah. and then when when Lily was born, I had to you know sell it up. It's just too hard to deal. maintain. Oh. It's yeah. it, it ruined everything. Um, <laughs> did <laughs> they did? Did you keep it on your property? I remember it before. Oh, no, we oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, all right. So Anna, we have mm -hmm. the um, the signing the re yeah. lease of apartment. I forgot to have this done at the last one. Mm -hmm. The Board approved oh, yeah. to release a covenant, mm -hmm. but I forgot to actually have it signed. Right. That's my oversight, so the board can just sign that. There's one. Yeah, for the okay. I thought we had done that already. Yeah. <laughs> no, well, you approved it, but I forgot yeah. to yeah. actually provide the release to sign. I should be the first one to sign that. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> I'll be very happy it's done. Okay. And then we have the. Yep. The zoning bylaw review? Yes, um, Attorney Cosgrove currently has the bylaw, uh, the RFP, and is reviewing it for okay. legal purpose. So I am waiting. I've been back and forth with him. He's working on it, but he hasn't hasn't had the time, I guess. So as soon as it's through. done, like we are, I think we already voted to release that. Just get it out there. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. and all right, so we have um, no. some things yes. for um, new business. Well, the the first one we address, so for the battery backup. Mm -hmm. okay. Oh, you <coughs> that already. We already did, we oh, did you that. Yeah. Bottom. Okay. So we have the, um, we talked a while ago about getting the, we were talking about a smart board, that it's yes. much cheaper to get a smart TV, yeah. which is so right. weird, but. Oh. Um, yeah, here we, um, we have a, do, purchasing something through the town is a project. Yes. And mm -hmm. uh, We've been going for this you, they, the town wants you to use your personal credit card. Like, say you go to Walmart oh, and you want to buy something, yep. you have to purchase it, but you don't get the tax. Exempt. Um, tax you know, exemption. You don't get you're not tax exempt, right. but the town won't pay the taxes if you right. use your yeah, personal credit card. So you have absolutely no incentive to use your credit card. Right. Even the, and, of course, your own personal credit card is tied up. As right. They have no provision to buy it any other as, way. As, as an auditor who always looks at that on a constant basis, having a credit card is much more is much less risky than right. doing it any other way because the exactly. credit card company insures everything. Correct. Well, and as long as you have correct controls around those credit cards, right. then there's no issues I, I'm really surprised that the town has no method doing something like that. So, I mean, the you get the road department, go to Home Depot, things like that, and right. they have no provision for that. You can talk to some of the places and ask them if they will please bill you. Then that way you can yeah, use your tax Yeah, but the cheapest places don't usually do that, they don't, though. Exactly. Yeah, right. You have to go to a more expensive yeah, if we, place. Well, that's, that's the problem we ran into, because honestly, we could save money if we could go to so Walmart and right. purchase the TV, but... Right. They're giving these things away now, aren't they? They really have no method crazy. of paying them. 
Maybe not the big, big ones. Do you have a relative in New Hampshire or one of the states that have sales tax? Yeah, right. You can, right, we can go up to New Hampshire so, and buy it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The other yeah. thing and is the, the town is very right up there. No, we no, don't no, want to put really not look around. Yeah, yeah, the town is. Okay, big, the the town is actually very slow on refunding credit cards. Has a way to chip with one. Do you want to put on his own credit card? Yeah. As a board, can we actually send a a little um, let's send a little letter to the board of selectmen asking them to relook at that relook at that and actually maybe they can speak to their own auditor about the risks of credit cards. Like send them an send them an email and say or a letter or whatever and say can they relook at this purchasing policy? It doesn't make very much sense. Well, even if they, they make, in a nice way, though. Don't even if they make the individual buy, because that's not unusual. But the sales tax should be you reimbursed. Can you handle? Right. Can't you hand them a tax exemption thing you like should. we have with Girl Scouts? We do so with he does know that. He got that. Jeff did. I know. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So he, he got the certificate. Public. It's He's public record, though. Yeah. But it, but it, it kind of it's kind of unfair for Jeff to yeah. actually yeah. put it on his yeah. credit card. Yeah. I mean, maybe he's getting points, and maybe it's a bonus. Right. Form. A lot of people do that, because um, yes. I can tell you that if you you should be able to pull the tax exemption. Though. No, but I mean, they will reimburse. How quick? How quickly is the reimbursement process? Well, that's the problem too. He's like he's um, mm -hmm. made purchase. He's been waiting two months, <gasps> so now you get to start paying your bill. Your obviously. interest. Oh, no, yeah. That's unacceptable. So it should yeah, be within so a, yeah. a week can, or two. So can we let's let's I think just make it a, the initiative yes. to send an email. To the to the selectmen, asking them to look over their purchasing policy. It just makes it hard on town employees and officials to get things done efficiently and effectively. Yeah, so. I mean, we're actually the board's actually probably going to spend more money going this route because mm -hmm. we have no choice but to mm -hmm. go this route. Yeah, and we've know, been waiting a while. So somebody wants to. So we'll do that. So. Yeah. Alan's been fighting this for years and years and years because he used to buy stuff and he right. would be reimbursed and there's no tax. And I know this has been an ongoing issue. So let's ever. send another. Let's send a, a nice, a nice email, and you guys write well, <laughs> okay. and say, can we look at? Can we address that again? Can they I know that it, yeah. Can they address it because they're look? I know they're looking at policies and procedures, right. and 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 Donna as Maybe the finance person will know um, and as an auditor. It is actually less risky to have cards as long as they have the correct controls or on those mm -hmm. credit cards. So right. correct. Um, so we have a selected TV foot in, in a this smart is TV. Originally, we were looking at a 70 inch. This is actually a 75, 75, not much bigger, but it's good size TV. So it'll go up. <laughs> it'll go up there, yeah. and people will be able to come in and kind of plug in, and it'll help with transparency oh, because, be because the cameras will see, and we'll be able to flip pages around, yeah. and maybe they can even have their pointer and do their thing. Yeah. I think. Yeah, many engineers will have their plans on a, a thumb drive. And yes. And they just I have a laptop. We can, can require that. We can, we can require we, we And then you can pop it right up on the screen. It's not worry about easels. The audience can see it as well. Mm -hmm. you know, so it's so it's even, even better than putting it on the table where no, you have to look right. at it up. A lot of times they like go into so. electronic and we yes. And the other thing we can think of is it's getting close to Christmas. We've waited this long, another month and a half. These prices are going to plummet right, because of the Christmas well, prices. Right, it's the day after Thanksgiving, 12 o'clock, Walmart. You're there. Yes. <laughs> Take off for the team, yeah. Cyber Monday. Cyber Monday. Cyber Monday. Monday. That's my day. Where's my TV? <laughs> I did that Who's going to go now? I did that one. It was for Lego stuff. I'll be my pajamas on Amazon.com. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. Oh, 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 really? These this so TVs are going to be half price. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, so we have to vote on the TV. Well, that's like a 70 inch TV. Just to give them a roll. Do we have a motion to buy this 75 inch and all the TV the and the, the other things that we've been told oh, we with all accessories. So the subtotal with the accessories the t the subtotal is 1224.96. and 96 cents. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Look at that, we're moving up in the world. Aye. We're gonna we're already the best board now, we're gonna be the best board with the best technology. Okay. And the best candy. Yeah. Candy. Oh, I think of the talk you have now, the candy dish and the candy. Yeah. <laughs> if, if on Facebook, Wait till the chocolate fondue set comes in. Right, <laughs> where we, we wanted to do that, but it wasn't on our budget for this year, the chocolate fondue. It, it um, will be in the budget for next year. year. We'll make sure we add it in. I believe I have a fondue set at home. And if you see my name, name if you see go. all capital P-A-T-S-Y, like, how embarrassing. They have candy, just 
just a smile. I know that. This is, I like it. I like the attention. <laughs> it's dinner. I used to ask really? Mr. Bunny for a um, crudite because I don't oh, care for it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's an odd thing. You read it through, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. I read it through. I have never oh, seen yeah. We have to vote on it at town meeting. Okay. It, I just wanted to point that out too because on um, this social media bylaw, it's not only geared towards employees, it's geared to anybody that um, has any involvement in the town. Absolutely. Board, commission. Right, everyone. Everyone. And uh, all have I just, to you know. The president yeah, even doesn't even do this so, stuff. Yeah. <laughs> you know. I mean, well, I. I want to just ask for everybody to read it thoroughly. It, 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 uh, it, it, was, it was very restrictive. Yes, it is. It's a sign off. So, this is what the town is going to be voting on. Don't, don't, don't post the town seal. Who would ever do that? Well, I think the policies are good. I think um, we'll read it. Okay. No, well, I, I, I understand mentioned. having a policy. It makes a sense. Policy makes but sense. This policy is very, very I think the big deal. I was just going to say that. Did you see this language? Yes. That's oh my gosh. I, mean, I have never seen so, so many. I mean, a public official can't get fired, but an employee could get fired. And absolutely. For, um, like if you heckled somebody to town meeting or something like that. Up uh, to and including term term mm -hmm. termination well, basically, is used yes. in here frequently. Yeah. It's giving them an out for all those people that are then ousted because you see it on the news all the time because someone got drunk and they um, bomb blasted someone on Facebook and the next thing you know they're no longer with that town, and that's what this but is doing. I, but this is I agree with you. This is a little bunch. When it when you read through it though, I mean you can have an opinion that just might not be an opinion of the yeah. town or the majority so, of the town and. That uh -huh. could be for an employee. Could be almost grounds for dismissal. Yeah, but isn't it know? just like at town meeting where you, if you like, get up and speak, you speak as a resident and not as right? Uh, no, this is saying member. that you are responsible for what you post, both as a employee and on your personal use. And they don't want to be the thought police, but just be careful. And if you see all these restrictions on here, so basically, your own anything you post as a person, you're also representing so the, the town. So, so the employee would be so as long as I'm not an employee, I can do like. Funny, but on jokes. Employees and officials do. operating personal social media sites, so that would be you. They don't that's what I'm saying. It's that's covering yeah, it's everyone everybody. who has yeah. involvement yes, with the town. That's yeah. everybody. That's why I wanted you guys to have some. It's like the so, snowflake bylaw. Yeah. So I, I yes. don't understand. So it's, it says there's a there's a stipulation here. Look for at number town. nine. Number nine will change you a lot. Uh, um, town social media content. What is they don't define town social media content. Yeah, number seven. That's town social media site. Yeah, but check out number nine, because that's where we fall under. But it, I think it even goes so far, like if you were on Facebook or yep, some yep. other type of social media, Twitter, that you could all They have a hard time. But that's They're not town social media, that's private social doesn't media. Matter. Doesn't matter. They yeah. have, does, uh, I, they have a exactly. hard time. Getting, read the definition but this is insane. Way. They have a hard time finding good employees and finding exactly. board members. So how? So so this is a way to. I mean, this doesn't make a lot. Yeah, check out permitted places. Yeah, well, that's. I mean, this is I nervous. honestly, um, Who wrote this? it's gonna be. What happens when I? What happens when I make a personal <laughs> post on Facebook? Well. Don't they? <laughs> they're saying you're don't. gonna be responsible yeah, exactly. for whatever you say. Whether it, that's what I'm. My point is like. You might have nothing wrong with it, but you might have a difference of opinion yep, on right. something. And now they're not allowed to do a little you. bit of freedom exactly. of speech that's versus right. your that's right. opinion. But I part. want, then, then this has to extend. I want, we should, I'm going to recommend a policy that we have a an, an actual how you act in public. How do we like that? So at a town meeting, you cannot heckle anybody or do anything yeah. disrespectful or make nasty. Whatever. So this, how, how far does this actually go? Well, that's, <laughs> I, I think. It's going to be voted on by yeah, the residents, and you, you, know, not, you know how it is. Nine out of ten people they are don't read anything. Read no, so, and no. So one, so one, it doesn't affect them, so they don't. Exactly. And right. Two, they just don't bother to read it. So, so number, so number one, let's just read it as a board. Did no. you see this? I'll post number five on page five of ten. All posts once made may not be deleted or amended except to correct typographical oh errors God. because it's now part of the public records law. What? But not if you make it on as a all private person. town social mm -hmm. media sites. That, that but that so isn't town that's happenings. That's I mean. No, that's a private. That's that's, that's, that's private. Okay. Private that because but that can get dangerous board. fast because if you start getting in not a debate. Charlton Planning Board site exactly. is a town site. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, which means you can't respond to anybody. Just like or 
We don't respond to anybody on no. that, though. Yeah. That, there's, there's no comments on that at all. Well, admins don't want it. Yes. Yeah. Yes, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, well, I'm sure. if the town had its own Facebook page that posted things, we wouldn't need one, but we have, we needed, I thought our agendas needed to be on Facebook. I think that's a fabulous agenda. Um, so let's read this as a board and decide if we want to, we want to actually get up and as a board say we we think that this is a little restrictive and we are going to have a hard time finding people to or individually we can do that but as a board we could also get up and say something can i point out that number nine says we now have to be trained since we're a moderator regarding the terms of this bylaw including the responsibilities now there's mm -hmm. training that we need to go to are they going to pay me because Jesus. i'd like to get paid to get trained if i'm going to do that do i get like a stipend more than my two hundred dollars <laughs> Yeah, the no, residents are going to vote this. And uh, everybody who stands with social media the way it is nowadays, if some, oh my there God. needs to be a little bit of guidance on so them. I can't. So if somebody they tells me that um, if so somebody says something really, 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 yeah, really, yeah, really, really nasty about me, I can't respond on Facebook. Yeah. 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 Basically, <laughs> that's, even though it was gay. That's that's pretty sure, I'm pretty sure one of the uh, residents um, she's going to tie me up and put me in a basement and wear my skin. Yeah, that's what happened. 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 I'm not pretty sure. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I tell people all the time, if you don't see me, I'm in her basement and I'm, I'm going to be tied up and she's going to be wearing my skin because she's obsessed with me on Facebook. But, um, so I can't respond. <laughs> there was one part where they made the distinction between this town social media moderator and the regular town moderator, you know? Not to be confused. Mm -hmm. So I think we all need to go home and like actually read this in, in through once and yeah, kind of. I'm I surprised that so. a draft didn't come through across the mm -mm. across the town in general, like all the boards. Oh, it's so much easier just to give it to people at town meeting because then they're going to pick it up. They're going to oh yeah, I have one of they these at work because everyone has social media um, restrictions at work. They're yeah. going to sign it's off it's on it. It's norm now. Can, this I, one is can I get up and read this on the ten mic at the microphone? Ten pages. Is that yeah. a little? I think I'm going to get up and read it at microphone. Well, does anybody else think you can all take a number and just go through and read this whole entire thing? I think you should read highlighted yeah, the, portions, though. I think yeah. Yeah. the First Amendment protected Yeah, speech. I saw that. Yeah, I, you know, most of it applies to, I don't see a lot of this that applies to personal yeah. social media. This is all town-sponsored yeah. oh, social no, media. Right at the beginning, all employees and officials are responsible for what they post Exactly. Online. Yep. Right. Whether right. personal or under the town site. If you make some sort of comment that is based on a town activity or town oh. personnel but or we something have, going on in the town that you We don't have agree personal with. opinions, but we don't take those personal opinions to the table. Right. You don't want to, then, you, then you get into the risk of somebody interpreting, and interpreting it, and then it's like, well, we're going to bring you to court because we interpreted that That's as right. a, it just opens up a can of. So we just read it and yeah. make sure that things aren't just being passed, just yeah. to have something in place. Yeah, just um, so you're aware, you're not allowed to respond negatively to any comment made, according to number seven. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for that comment. <laughs> Thank you for calling me that. I've always liked that word. <laughs> Um, the moderator, though, says as an authorized town of Charlton official, appointed or elected, or employees who review, authorize, and allow. This is Basically, the moderator of the site, so the Charlton Planning Board site were all moderators. Did they copy and paste oh, this out of something and not actually read it? Somehow I doubt No, I think some time was spent. Yeah, very there. much time was spent yes. on this, yeah. I believe. That our prior administrator, I know, spent some time with that. I bet. That's great. Um, I, I forget I that because there's some town administrator. Yes, exactly. Oh, yeah. 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 Can we ask, can right we ask if the personnel board has any, had any input in it? Who cares? Well, you can, if it's yeah. going to go to town meeting, yeah. we'll ask the town meeting. We'll ask the town I just think we have a very hard time getting people who want to even be on our boards and to throw this out there and say, all right, 
come run. You can't, you, you pretty much now can't do anything. Basically, it goes down on right. And what happens as a public, what happens if as a public official, someone calls me something really nasty and I, I went and I, and I go and I say something really nasty back because. It's well, you can say this, I respectfully exactly. disagree with you. Yeah. <laughs> In a very nice, polite way, I, res I respectfully disagree with that comment. That's the first words that come out in the heat of the moment. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Automatic, you don't know, so yeah, think right. about it. You can just say, sorry, we can't be friends. Yeah, can I know you are, but what about I love you, too. <laughs> Bless you. There you go. But I just thought that the board should see that because yes. it affects all yes. of you yes. as well as many other people. So. We had a special town meeting change. Um, Last but not least. So we have, so we know tomorrow we have our executive session. Um, we have um, all the attorneys are going to be at their mouth. It's giving you a basic update, the executive and um, McKay will be in here tomorrow to update the board, and then we'll all go together to executive. Because I'm oh, sure you okay. saw the paper today. No, I didn't. Oh, they, yes, in the paper I today, saw. yes, the subdivision plan has been voted in, um, and it has been accepted, and it said that it's, um, the planning board is planning on take, asking for more funds to fight it and to appeal it, um, and there was a firestorm. The subdivision or the site plan? This, uh, the site sub plan. Was it the site? I thought it was the subdivision. The subdivision? No, it's, it's the, um, I don't know what exactly we discussed with the approval, the judges, yes. or the devil placard who is informed no me yesterday the judge handed down his decision. Yes. What's, this one? what's yes. interesting yeah. is that, is it's that Mark said, Mark said, they remanded Mark's it back to the board and Mark's the board. Yeah. Right, but so we were, um, we will, this, so we got to be careful yeah. about, about, the we'll details. Saying, yeah, I was going to say, I'm just quoting what was in the new Telegram in the Gazette paper. today. So, yeah. so I don't need to know I, anything I didn't else. Get to yes. copy Mark was you. busy, and he ha he hasn't had a chance to put everything in writing. I I I I know what's going on, and I will forward it as soon as he gets it. Or you so can read the can obituaries in the local section of today's paper, and it's also right there. Yeah, there's, a, there's an article in today's Which is paper. all I'm allowed to know about. Yeah. Okay. So that's. Uh, that. um, so you saw that there was a um, a post on Facebook and it got deleted that said that I went to the select board and asked for five hundred dollars for a secret five hundred dollars to give to the PCC group. What? It was huh? like a weird post, and I was like, huh? And then there was other comments, and I wanted to say no. I went for for we wanted a solar review, like we wanted five hundred dollars <laughs> just sold for for um, Mark to do the, to write an opinion mm. on the soil review, on the, on the, um, the freeze of the land. Yep. Oh, um, okay. And so it was, it was in there. And then it was clearly just like a made up thing. And everybody was like all commenting. And then the person probably was told that they were wrong and then they deleted it. But the, it's, it's kind of, so it's funny how social media is, it's a, it's a disaster. It and it's same, yes. the same 12 people comment. Fake news. Yes. Fake news. <laughs> That's right. So, I've, I'm kind of at the point, every once in a while, I need to go in there and say, whoa, step, nope, you step, need no. to say nothing. Every once in a while, I need to say, whoa, step back, because I, because I, I, especially when my husband's like, do you see what they're saying? Like, there's, like, do you see what they're saying? You need to go and defend yourself. Yes. When I walk in the door at, like, 2 o'clock, he does, he gets pretty upset, because, you know, he loves me so much, and really doesn't like people to say nasty stuff about me, but, um, the stuff. So there's the same 12 people yes. that comment over and over and over and over and over, and um, I think that not reading it is very, very helpful. Yes, it's certainly less stressful. And we're we're an open. We have open forum, and if anybody has a problem with their board, they can come into our board, and we, we can talk face to face. Um, I, I say it all the time. It's very it's a it's really um, Facebook warriors. Cowboy, they're, keyboard they're, cowboys. Yep. Yeah, you go. It's but come and speak to my face, and I'll answer any questions, and um, our board will answer any questions. But it's just okay. how it goes. Um, so, is there anything else that we want? What to is about? this miracle yeah. we'll discuss going to select well, more money? Um, we got a bill from Merrick. Merrick oh. O'Connell. Yeah. For the end of August. And I looked at it. I reviewed it, and, and everything. Looked fine to me. No, with the problem is we have now completed all the money the Board of Selectmen have allocated to us, and this is only till the end of August. And he's been working during the month of September, Absolutely. and now we're into October. 
coach. So we're already short um, on the amount on the debt. Well, oh, we haven't figured out. We're yeah, okay. We have, we have a number now. short. We, you know, up to the end of this. But there's. So we need six months. Because the the town allocated seventeen seventeen for a total of thirty four thousand dollars. We're now thirty five and change with Merrick O'Connell. Okay. And cool. we have so. Planning board's gonna have to go back to the board of selectmen and ask for additional funds for legal costs. In the so idea of full disclosure, what were they defending? What I just subdivision. They're, they're subdivision. defending oh, the subdivision. subdivision. Perfect. And this it, is nothing to do with appealing VGG. No, this is purely no, no, the no, subdivision. This is the, this no is appeal. just to defend our original subdivision. Perfect. Yeah. No, I, I just no want appeal. that on record. Yeah. Because that's where a lot of the miscommunication is coming from. Yeah, right, yeah we have not. This we have not. Is a totally separate item. We have not asked for any decision. money to defend any appeal. We just want our original decision to be defended. Okay. Perfect. <coughs> okay. Um. So we got a. Remember on. The original, we, ha we got an open meeting law violation on yes. February 8th from um, a resident, was it? Um, mm -hmm. Caruso? No, was it oh, yeah. Nicole Caruso? And so she had made that the statement. Remember on the, the, the meeting, um, I think Attorney Pill showed up, and it was that complaint. And we sent a response, and the, the AG agreed that we were right. I guess she appealed that again. <laughs> so, um, you know, she's. I mean, what, what, what the, what the, what she said was that we purposely added open forum, right, um, to just to let Attorney Pill come in on purpose and coordinated all that. Well, in fact, we all attended. At least the majority of us attended the open. We 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 went to a couple hour training with the attorneys. And the attorney said you should have open forum on your agenda. So we had added that because KP Law said mm -hmm. you should add it. I remember you guys said and that. then it all kind of like we, the first time it kind of was a little bit crazy. But, and I know I'm bad at stopping people when they're talking, but we were in the middle of waiting for an attorney. An attorney happened to show up and happened to be watching it from afar, beyond our, be, out of our control. And her claim is that we, so. Um, long story short, the the AG has to do her um, her, okay. her her review of the appeal. So she wants to talk, call on the phone and verify the facts that um, that we've happened? already stated. So I um, since I need a root canal on Friday and I need to be out of work anyways, um, I will um, try to talk. I have a, I have a call, a call <laughs> scheduled on Friday and and I don't know somehow. Maybe Jean will coordinate. So one of us, we have two people on that call just Perfect. to answer questions about yep. that meeting. With multiple of calls. I was just going to we'll see that. how that works out. I don't know. I don't, I've never had a root canal. I'm sure it's You're not going to be talking. Fine. No. Um, but uh, we'll might speed up the conversation. <laughs> 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 Maybe. Now, for people to do these, painkillers might make it interesting too. So, so you can do you can do o OMLs all the time on anybody, really? anytime, it's whenever, free, whenever you feel. Yeah. Free of charge. So yes. the the AG decides that. The AG decides that whether to. Yep. Uh, I mean, this seem, I wasn't here for that, but yeah. I mean, this seems like a non-issue because open forum is standard that that the public can bring up anything that is not on the agenda. That's what the open forum is for. Yeah. So exactly. And that's you can't make a decision on it, but you can hear it. Yeah. Yeah. If anybody wants, you can't you know, take any action. Concern about something that's not scheduled. On so, the so you saw our response, right? You yeah. already saw, you saw the response of how, and it seemed to be taken care of. The AG was happy, but it but it was. It was just appealed, so it's just a, a matter so of, it, yeah. of their investigation sure. so they can finally close it. There shouldn't be any issues. And um, I mean, by any chance, if we do get some sort of a, like, an, a finding of a violation, um, we'll, let you know. we'll, let you, we'll let you know. <laughs> I mean, oh, what was the date? I mean, you can always February. say okay. the date we went to that. Oh, yeah, it was the day before. Oh, yeah, February. Sorry, that was Our meeting was February yeah. 6th. Yeah, because yeah. oh, everybody was open yeah. forum. You added it to the agenda. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, 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 and we the talked select about board it. does it too. So we yeah. always looked at the select board. Yes. They had that going yeah. on. So we thought we'd just kind of copy. But, 
you know, that was a very touchy time, yep. and yes. I think a lot of people were just angry for other reasons, yes. and this was a little bit of a retaliation. Yeah. And it is what doubt. it is. Who is the person? Is it a resident? That, uh, yes, two residents yeah. got yes. a complaint, two, and then one of them, and they, and they and both, they both got this. They were the exact same complaint, and we just we responded, and one With person the appealed, same letter. and one person yeah. didn't appeal. So, yeah. um, I think it's part of doing business. Yes. Yep. When people don't hear what they like, they tend to try to go any way possible, which is, I mean, it's what it is. Human nature. Yep. I mean, I didn't we like do your try. I mean, exactly. I think it's funny that we would get an OML violation because honestly, our board is probably like overly transparent. Not to mention we're on TV. I mean, a lot of the other, and I don't know I'm trying to be silly, but other than the selectmen, a lot of the boards aren't. So if anybody can. Anybody can watch um, or play, you know, Pac-Man. So, so John can go home and play Pac-Man with you. Uh, All right. So, sure um, wow, look how early Roddy is. Motion to adjourn. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Aye.